I don't know how I got these straws. Well, you ain't getting them now. Let's do full screen. What's splashing YouTube? This is Steve Lapius 101. Welcome back to Lucid 9 Blind, episode 30. No, not 39. Episode 40, I believe. Yeah, episode 40. Um, don't watch this, guys. I. What, what happened? We found Yahiko. He, he's apparently not arrested. He doesn't even. He acts like as if he's never gotten arrested yet. Then we got. We learned that Rui has not seen the death, quote unquote. And then we're, we're now seeing Yama go hysterically laughing. And then asks Irie, and we find out Irie gives us alcohol. Which, by the way, is totally illegal, but, you know. It's a video game. At any rate, we almost get in trouble. And then. Yeah. Yeah, happens. In any case, guys, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and as well, subscribe. There's also a bell there. I didn't mention the beginning of the first episode, but there's a bell down below. I'll let notify you guys whenever I make new videos, so just, just click that. Go oh, ahead, click it. Now, after you clicked it, and you've also clicked, now click the like button and subscribe button. Good, there we go. Like, if you didn't have to, but I'm just saying this for those who kind of want to go the extra mile, there you go. I'm not getting paid for this, man, mind you. I just want to, like, literally just make people's day. So that, that's just it. You guys get free entertainment. There you go. In any case, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah. So, basically, guys, it's going to get crazy. Oh, yeah, we also want Irie's parents died. That went morbid. That went very, very morbid. I apologize. Anyway, guys. Uh, let's begin. But, oh. I feel the urge to say that I'm sorry. You should. But it sounds shallow in the gravity of my moment. Moment. How does it sound shallow? I... I really nibbles on her peach. I didn't say peaches this time. Last episode I did. Uh, how? I didn't realize how insensitive the question is until it's already out of my mouth. Thankfully, before I read can respond, the warning bell pings. I hurriedly get to my feet. Oh, guess we have to head back to class. Everyone seemed labored. It's painful to utter them. They fought. How's I explain how they passed away? There's a strong part of me that wants her to continue. Part of me that's curious about this enigma known as Iri Hiraga. But I can't bring myself to do it. There's enough craziness going on. Finding out about Iris' past might make things worse. Hey, you don't have to tell me. It's fine. I moved to the rooftop door, keen on exiting before I cause any more trouble. It's better this way. My curiosity just leads to hurting people, anyway. One moment. Okay. Sorry, I was asking to get fancy inside. She wanted to be coming inside. Any case. Irie silently follows me, staring at the peaches cupped in her hand. We part at the stairway. 
I'm not sure what to say. At the very least, blah, 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 blah. but at the very least, she doesn't seem angry at me. Just thoughtful. I expected to spend the remainder of my time by myself, but instead, I find Misaki waiting by my chair. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, hi. Do you want to go somewhere with me? What? Now? No, tomorrow. Of course, right now. Class is about to start. Are you seriously coming up with any excuse to stay in school? She's right. Normally, I wouldn't mind. So you're saying we should ditch? I prefer the phrase, investing our time in other endeavors. Which entails... So, ditching. It sounds so ugly. <laughs> That's what I do. Ugly Yama. <laughs> I'm my Yama. Dang it. <laughs> suddenly has this may be it might actually end up being kind of fun <laughs> stay in class i never actually seen their skirts before you guys say it's weird no i just find it very individual that i never ever see below them because the text is always on their like above their waist and i guess it's fair but i just feel like i want to see this right now just, just want to stare at this for a moment just to see that it's finally a full art, without the feet of course, but still somewhat of a full art. And I feel proud of that. Like, like this full art. It's like a full art of just the character itself in the center, or somewhat center, of the game. Thank you, snowflakes. My goodness. <laughs> well, you know what? Even though it's good to stay in school, guys, stay in school, by the way, I'm going to say ditch with Misaki, because I feel like if I stay with the others, if I stick with Misaki, I stick with Yehiko, if I stick with Iri, if I stick and talk to people, I'm going to learn about them. You know what I mean? And then probably even pick the right choices. It, it might be a better choice to ditch with Misaki. Why not? It's not like I've been doing anything productive in school. I mean, you technically be learning, so that's productive, but you know. What were you thinking? She smiles brightly, gesturing the door with both hands. You shall see. I am... I obligingly... I don't know why I had a problem saying that. I obligingly exit the classroom right as the bell sounds, as we make our way down the street. Newfound excitement takes the place of anxiety. It's definitely a welcome change. Actually, she leads me to GFC. As we order and pick up our chicken, we slip into the nearest booth. I found this place the other day. Their wings are very good. I know, I come here a lot, actually. Really? Well, not recently, because... Investigation, lapses, serial killings, Rui, Musto, Hiko. Yeah. yeah that, that can be a good bother of why you don't want to go to a certain place. Now that I think about it, when was the last time we all ate here together? Has it been that long? Or is my memory just that unreliable? It's probably that unreliable, because actually. Actually, it could have been a long time ago. Anyways. Somehow Misaki manages to catch the change in my face. She quickly leans forward, tension fixed on me. Something bothering you? Again, this is the third time. I'm assuming it had to do with your fight with Ruby. Wait, how do you know about that? Because she told me. Oh. Well, I forced it out of her. Her exasperation is quickly replaced with concern. You're still having your lapses? 
Wait, no. So you're still having your lapses. She told you about that, huh? And about me, Zoom. And it's almost drowned. You're gonna do lecture me about that too. Our response comes out harsh than I harsher than I intended. Instead of getting angry, Misaki only raises an eyebrow in bewilderment. He jumps into the river to save someone. Why should I lecture you? Because I didn't save him, Miki. Because I couldn't even save myself. I just ended up being useless. Again. You're such a dang dumber! Oh, jeez. She suddenly shouts something incomprehensible, slamming her fist onto the counter. I could hear that. Everyone in the restaurant immediately stops and looks at us. Do you know what I hate most about you, Yama? The fact that you're always bringing yourself down. Yes, you could have died, but you tried anyway, right? You could have ignored him. You could have let that boy drown, and no one could would have thought less of you because of your condition. It's not always about succeeding, it's about having faith in yourself. Fingers curl on the edge of the table, an odd heaviness to her tone. Even with your condition, you're a lot more capable than you think, Yama. So she's lecturing me even though she didn't want to lecture me. Good job, Yama. You just got what you didn't want. Good job. So please, don't ever say that you're useless again. I'm just gonna stick with this for now on. I wanted to try the full screen to see how it looked. And it looks good. I know that, but I wanna be able to like, you know, get to my links still and to my things and all. Yeah. In any case, what is wrong with this? Really? really? Why are people butchering at me? In response to her words, I can only remain in stunned silence. Is she actually commending me? Even though I had almost died? Even though I hadn't accomplished anything? Oh well, guys, I'm gonna pause real quick. I'm gonna edit this out, don't worry. I'm editing this out. So, usually guys, I do 25 minutes. So I'm just gonna do this from now on. Let's go to my timer. Sixteen minutes. And that starts now. Okay. Alright guys, in any case, we're just going to continue on. I, I feel like I want to do full screen. I really do. I actually want to do full screen. But, I feel like, you know, it just doesn't work out. In any case, um, way to put myself a damper. I'm just going to do full screen anyway for now. Um, and then when this thing beeps, I'll just stop it. So with that, guys, let's continue. But yeah, she's right, dude. 
Yes, she's commanding you. Yes, even though you died, even though I hadn't accomplished anything. You accomplished saving someone's life, sir. So you did something. Was it relatively useful? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Maybe that guy now has learned a lesson. I know he's dead, but maybe, maybe you can learn a lesson from this. Anyways, but to be completely honest, I almost feel a little touched. Finally realizing that her outburst had attracted the attention of nearby customers. Saki's face blushes at red, red, blushes a bright red, and she sinks back into her seat. I I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. And her voice is almost palpable. Alright. Alright. So I think I might have looked this up before. Like, I know what palpable... I have an idea. Let's say that. I have an idea what palpable is. But you know what? Instead of just getting ideas, guys, we're gonna ask handy dandy and trustworthy Google for consent. <laughs> palpable. So for those of you who did that, so intense as to seem almost intangible. Almost tangible. So yeah, there's that. There we go. So there you guys go, guys. Anyways, as if she had just slapped me across the face. Oh. Uh. It's fine. Me. I probably think she did. Yeah. We redirect our attention back to our food. For the next few minutes, we eat in awkward silence. I'm about to say something to break the attention until I notice Misaki reaching for GFC signature hot sauce. Uh, Miki? Before I can warn her, she already downing her wings with like there's no tomorrow. Isn't that spicy? Hmm? The ketchup? <laughs> that isn't ketchup. It's hot sauce. Oh, so it is. She really shrugs her shoulders and continues eating, surprisingly unaffected. My goodness. Okay. I have your taste buds, girl. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say she's my babe. I'm going to say she has my taste buds. Because she does. Because that's actually what I eat. I'm not even kidding, guys. I eat wings, and I even put hot sauce on my wings. I eat hot dogs and put hot sauce on them. I put hot sauce on my eggs. I put hot sauce on anything that can be viewed as edible that's not a sweet. Why? I don't know. I love spicy foods. I love eating Mexican... I even like eating, um, what do they call that thing? Um, uh, that one green sauce that's used usually with, um, habanero sauce. There we go. I think I might be wrong. Anyways, you know, not even Masto can handle that. Masto must be a wimp then. I love her, dude! <laughs> she says this teasingly, eliciting a chuckle from me. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. I'm pretty sure she's probably the only person who can beat Masato at an eating contest. That's not nice. Never make fun of a girl who eats, guys. Boys out there. You have a lady who eats more than you? Do not bring it up to her. Ever. Ever. Never do that. I may be a gentleman. 
I'm being serious, like, I act like a complete gentleman around like this. I don't know why, unless I'm teasing them, and there's that. But other than that, I am mostly a gentleman. One thing I never do is tell them how much they eat. So, yeah. In any case, I kind of want to see that, actually. By the way, have you been... Have you seen that pad I sent you? You sent me a pad? Have you even been using Pat recently? Pat recently? What's up everyone? My name is Patters! I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> be honest? No. <laughs> so blunt. So this is so bluntly. She sighs. The most stereotypical Jap in his anime thing ever. That's what most sleep girls do. You guys can't see what I did, but like literally I closed my eyes and just did that face. Or my attempt at it. And she sighs, motioning me to hand over my phone. I obligingly do so. That's the new uh, pose, I think. Apparently, our apparently our kimono commercial has drained a lot of buzz. I was reading some of the comments, and you seem to have quite a few fangirls. Masato is getting the lit. Wait, Yama is getting the ladies, man. Yeah. Hey, what? <laughs> fangirls, female fans, admirers. Why would I have admirers? Don't be so modest, Yama. I mean, you are attractive. Yeah, he's a he's attractive, I guess. I will never know. I'm a guy, but. At any rate, you know, um, I guess it's story time, guys. So I had a friend who said the same thing to me. Now, I'm going to show you guys what I look like without my glasses. Do I look attractive in any way? Dude, I can read that. Holy crap, I can read this. But I don't do it on my own. Anyways. But yeah, guys, do I look attractive? Like, I know you can't really see it from the grade. Wait, let me, let me get closer. Do I look attractive? No. Maybe not as attractive as others would think. Now. She says Yama's attractive. I guess he could be viable as attractive. I don't know. I don't know how women work. I don't even know how anime girls work. Okay? I think she's hitting on me though. But that's cool. She probably already knows Rui and I like each other, or that she likes, that I like, that Yama likes Rui, even though Yama doesn't want to admit it. But you know, in any case, just thought I liked that. Man. I remember you saying something similar to Yahiko the other day. Oh, don't worry. I think you're much cuter than he is. I'm telling you how he goes that. Your sword is pride. <laughs> That's probably what he's thinking. Why should she think I was worried? <laughs> how can she say that so glancedly? It's another Google thing to ask. Blantly. Blantantly. Blantantly. What? What is blatantly? Blantantly. What? No, there's B L A N T A N T L Y. According 
according to dictionary.com. 1596, in Blatant Beats, coined by Edmund Spencer in The Fairy Queen to describe a thousand-tongued monster representing slander. Okay. So here we go, I'm gonna look this up. Blatantly, or it's blatant, there we go, and then Lee, is brazenly obvious, flagrant, offensively noisy or loud, clamorous. Okay. Nice. Call me loud. Thanks. In any case, how did we get even on this topic anyway? Here. I'll read some of these comments to you. Rather not. He's so cute. I wonder if he has a girlfriend. I've never seen this actor before, but I like. I like a lot. The acting was so good. Are they really a couple? This guy makes me question my sexual preference. I'm a dude, by the way. <laughs> you said fangirls! You did not say gay boys! Okay, they are two different things. One's a guy and one's a girl. That's it. Have you ever... I, I think that should be enough. Feeling my face blush, I quickly lean over the table and snatch my phone out of her hand. She only grins at me in amusement. Don't tell me you're embarrassed. Of course not. Then why is your face red? I just don't have your tolerance of spicy food. She goes at this, observing herself into her own fun. You should seriously consider being an actor, Yama. You know, people can ask me that too. Yeah, so you're not the only one. Especially voice acting. Because uh, I can... Hold on. I'm gonna do the voice. I love to laugh. Ha ha ha. Anyone anyway, that's from in the comments below, if you do, you are an awesome person. He's an actor, by the way. It's not like I did that well. Dude, I do well. On and off the screen, my friends can tell you I'm a drama queen. I get into my music. I literally do, guys, by the way. I literally get into my music, I get into character of the song, and the acting. So, if you guys can tell, I kinda... My voice says it. it says my face. I'm actually playing off the characters pretty well. And I'm actually blushing when she was bringing up that thing, so I was like thinking to myself, this is someone trying to do the same thing to me, and I can imagine it. I have a friend who can do that to me. She's one of those people. Any case, you did well enough considering the circumstances. I can't help but feel a tinge of pleasure at her praise. If not an actor, then what? I probably just managed my parents' restaurant. Uh-oh. Here it comes, managing your parents' restaurant isn't really a job remark. I didn't know you could cook. That's what she has, was surprised about? <laughs> She's a ditz! I'm sorry, no offense to go girls out there who are probably ditzy in real life. She's acting ditzy. <laughs> I'm decent, I guess. <laughs> Can I be your first customer? Uh, sh sure. <laughs> You'll let me eat for food too, right? What? No way! Why not? Because you'll put me out of business. <laughs> but... You out of business? <laughs> she, she points to her empty plate. She seems to make the connection. Are you implying that I ate too much? Oh uh, no. I'm just saying that you pay the full price. Otherwise, I wouldn't be a profit. You definitely don't 
wouldn't be able to profit if your arms were broken? Hmm, yep, 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 well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> yeah, that did. <laughs> I like to have all my bones intact, thank you. Hey, look, guys, that's the next minute mark, so I have to save my episode. Yes. Guys, okay, save. Because only you can prevent lost save data. In any case, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please like, comment. Please like, comment, subscribe. And as always, guys, the Focus 101, and I'm bouncing out.